Okay, hello and welcome back to Two Upload TV. Thanks for joining us this week. We are back in Clark's Golf Centre, testing out some of the latest products, and uh, it's Mizuno that have uh, followed on from uh, the lead of Ping uh, iBlade a couple of weeks back. Um, they've just released a, uh, a range of irons, the JPX 900 range, and uh, it comes in three different club heads. Um, Got to say, quick look at them, stunning look of, uh, stunning set of irons, all three of them. We're starting off with the JPX 900, I'm looking at the club to uh, remind me of this exact title, Hot Metal and it's Chrome Alloy. Chrome Alloy being a, uh, a material that's been used in the club head. Thinner face, higher trajectories, higher ball speeds, longer distances, all those usual claims, but will it ring true in the hands of the average golfer? Let's go and get fitted up, get some balls hit, and see how it performs. Right, okay, we're all set and good to go. So quite an easy one, this. Um, as I mentioned in the intro, I'm using the Mizuno MP5s and the uh, exact shaft that I would use uh, and got fitted for in those clubs is what we're able to try out these um, JPX range this morning. So like I said, for me personally, some great direct comparisons. Um, the stats that I've done in terms of the recording for um, for comparison purposes, against all the clubs that we uh, took a look at last year with my uh, seven irons, so there'll be a slight uh, difference in uh, recognizing that uh, that difference when we put those stats up up at the end because this is a six iron. All the club heads that have been sent for the three uh, new JPX range are actually six irons. So just bear that in mind when you take a look and compare the stats after. And I say after because we're going to do things slightly different um, this week. In previous weeks, what we've always done is uh, I hit some balls, we refer to the stats, and it tends to draw the video out a little bit. So we're going to make these try and make these a little bit short and sweet. We'll throw the stats up at the end for all those you're interested uh, in those comparison figures. Then they'll be there for you. You can take some time and have a look and analyze the differences. But we're really going to concentrate on how you would yourselves turn up at the range, hit some balls, and like to see the ball flight where they're going and the feel yourself. And um, Joey. You can uh, you can certainly see the stats, but um, yeah. I'm really interested today in how they feel in my hands and in the performance I can visually see. So out there from the ball flight. So as ever, five balls, and we'll see how they go. So don't forget, JPX 900 range, hot metal, and that hot metal they refer to is something called chrome alloy. Um, Brand new in terms of uh, the technology as ever, something, uh, a new uh, material I assume that uh, has been brought into this club head. It's allowed the face to be made extremely thin, very powerful off the face. This is what you'd call the game improver iron. So the normal sort of uh, thicker sole on the, uh, on the bottom of the club. And again, top of the club, the top line is slightly thicker than when we get down to that better player and the, the tour iron that they've got. So those kind of aesthetics are all the things that you would associate with a better player club. However, what I will say, it is very nice and compact still. So it's not, um, not too bulbous in its looks and club head sat behind the ball is still quite neat. Um, I like the look of them, I'm particularly fond, my MP5s are a complete chrome finish and I loved it when they brought those out last year, it's certainly a strike into the eye and they've kept this kind of a cross between the matte finish and the chrome inserts as well and that's a familiar line of blue that is always associated with the Mizuno brand. So in terms of looks, I think it uh, certainly ticks a box, I wouldn't be offended by this at all. It's a nice looking golf club and especially like I said, game improver irons can often be quite clumbersome and big, but they've made uh, sort of a very sleek version of this, so it'll be interesting to see. Performance wise now, so uh, first ball of the day, let's see how they go. Here we go, first one. Ooh. Right, first things first. It's a nice ball, Joe. Brilliant. Really far. That's a decent knot. Yeah. So really high there. as well. Yeah, very good. First of all, as I was going to say, first thing noticeable was the ball flight. Yeah. That absolute six iron, that absolutely flew in terms of um, I don't know whether you can hear again, I'm not sure the quality of the sound that we pick up on our microphones, but it's a nice feel straight out of the sweet spot, airborne immediately, penetrating flight, but also high launching. And uh, that felt very nice indeed. 
Let's see if we can get another few of them. Bullet straight as well, Joe, I think, yeah, wasn't it? really. Oh, dear me. That is nice. That's a long time of hanging. I mean, that's going, that's going a long, long way. Yeah. As I say, that's a great feel out the club as well. Don't forget, this is this chrome alloy. Um, again, get onto Mizuno's website if you want some more technical detail on what chrome alloy is. Then uh, I think you'll have to go to the experts for that one, but um, it certainly, it works. Let's have another one. Oh, Joe, that's three out of three. <laughs> they are superb. Really are. Absolutely. I mean, you'll see from the stats that we throw up at the end and some ball flights there. These are bullet straight. Mm. Um, and it's just that. It's the... Um, it's a trajectory. Yeah, it is. It's just perfect. It's, it's, that's going to be high ball flight. And again, if this is aimed at the sort of... Uh, don't forget, average golf right play off my handicap at the moment is eight. Um, so I would have said these are aimed at uh, a, a higher handicapper than myself, but I'd have no problems in playing with these whatsoever. These are uh, very nice indeed. Let's try another. It's just every time it's the, it's, the, uh, it's the ease in which they get airborne. I've leaked that one out slightly to the right hand side. Yeah. Um, but all the same, other than uh, the fact that it's, that's obviously down to my, uh, the quality of my swing, but in terms of uh, the, the, the club head and the face and the... Oh, and there's one nice one to finish. Slightly leaked mm. out to the left again. You could hear the sound wasn't quite as nice of a contact, but still plenty of help and support from the club head. So I would say without doubt, um, certainly like the club. Um, I'm interested to see we're going to go through the, uh, there's two other clubs, don't forget, in the club heads within this range. And uh, they changed the chrome, al chrome alloy, that's a difficult word to say, trust me, is dropped in the next two. Um, and we'll see the difference in the feel, hopefully. So that's the interesting bit for me, is the, um, the compromise, I suppose, between feel and performance in terms of the help and assistance that this club head will clearly give for off-centre hits. And this uh, assistance without doubting uh, launch angle and trajectory, because that ball for a six iron is certainly getting very airborne very quickly. Without sort of, a, it's not a floaty shot, this is still a very penetrating uh, ball flight. So uh, yeah, I enjoyed that very much. Nice, uh, nice start to the morning. Um, that's, don't forget, so that's a JPX 900, hot metal, the chrome alloy version. That's that one done. We'll throw up some stats at the end so you can see how those balls are doing in performance-wise. I'll have a look as well and see if I was doing as well as uh, that I certainly thought I was. And uh, we'll move on to the next one. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget, as ever, follow us on Twitter and all kinds of social media. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, hang on in there because there's another one to follow very, very shortly.